Hey friend, I'm so excited that you're here. I am so excited to be back. I'm home again. I was at a conference in Vegas actually over the last whole week. Amazing. It was just an amazing conference and I will be doing another video about this conference just to share more about it, but I wanted to do an update. So I learned so much and took in so much information and wrote so many notes. I actually filled in a whole notebook at this conference, you guys. So good. So I took a ton of notes and I'm going to be going through those uh, notes here and, and what I wrote down in the planner and everything for the upcoming quarter and the upcoming year. But I'm super excited because, okay, so I originally had been thinking... Um, my publish date was going to be later in 2022 for all the other serials. But so the first one is publishing end of the month. Super exciting. That's pretty soon. I am pumped, you guys. And then the second one will be publishing in January. And let me grab my little plan here that I wrote down. And the third one will be releasing February. And the fourth one in March. And the fifth one in April. So... I think that's going to be really exciting. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be a Christmas story, but I'm going to be launching it. Um, I actually heard Elena Johnson. She's a uh, uh, an amazing writer who is, uh, she writes in romance, but she was talking about the best time to publish a Christmas story. Anyone? Mueller? Do you know what it is? Anytime. You can publish it anytime. Now. Now. In the summer, anytime. I guess Christmas stories do really well all year long. Who knew? So the story is going to be uh, published via serials. And it's going to be done November, January, February, March, April. And um, and then right before 2022, right before Christmas next year, I'm going to be launching it in a hardcover book. So I'm really excited about that. Secondly, I also wanted to share, I'm planning to publish a book in July. So um, I'm really excited about kind of like the trajectory and where I'm going right now with the stories. And the plan is to publish this other one, A Faders, in July. So once I finish this mistletoe project, I'm going to be jumping into that and and just writing, writing, writing. So you, you're going to see a lot of writing sprints and everything. So that's another thing I wanted to update you guys on. I will be doing writing sprints every day this month. Let me just grab the, the schedule here so I give you the right dates. Uh, okay, so on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'll be doing writing sprints from 8 to 11 a.m., 12 to 2 p.m., 3 to 4 p.m., and there might be a couple times, too, where I... I have to take like a 30 minute break to go and run some errands or do some things quick, but the sprint will still be going on, which is kind of fun. And then on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'll be doing writing sprints from 7 to 8 a.m. and then again at 2 to 4 and then again from 6 to 7 p.m. So a bunch of writing sprints. Uh, it's That's one thing I took away from the conference is the only way you're going to get that book done is if you sit down and get your butt in the chair. Like I was amazed. Some writers were saying that they wrote like a 30,000, like sorry, that they finished their book in two weeks. And that was like a 60,000 word book. Basically, some of these writers could write like in three days, they could write 30,000 words. So it's just like, wow, I need to be getting more words down. So it was such a good, good conference. And I'll be sharing more information and about which one it is. And it, it was just awesome. But I will just wanted to kind of focus on um, my goals right now, a goal update. And um, so those two projects are going to be moving forward here shortly. And then I'm planning end of December and beginning of January, I'll be working on a secret project. I, um, as I said in the video about my Preptober plans, I tend to layer on too many projects on top of each other where it's impossible to do all of them. So that one is getting pushed back a little bit, but I'm going to have that done by my husband's birthday. So that I can give it to him for his birthday instead of instead of Christmas. But um, yeah, so it's going to be super fun. But that's just a little short, sweet little update from me about kind of my plans moving forward with publishing. And um, also, also, I made this really cool printable, you guys. And it's a perfect little uh, writing sprint tracker. Each little typewriter stands for 100 words. So each time you write 100 words highlight it, draw it, color it, do whatever you want to it. 
And um, by the end of it, you should have 3,000 words. So that's kind of exciting. Um, I still have one more writing sprint to do today, and then I'm going to get it done. But then I'll have like 3,000 words. But I really am hoping for 5,000 by the end of the night. But yes, so tonight I'm going to be going over my notes that I took from the conference, and there's just so many of them. I wrote so many notes and things where I need to move forward and do things differently or whatnot. So I will be sharing more about this soon, but I just wanted to kind of share some new publishing news and plans that are going to be happening in the very soon future, especially end of November and moving forward with the rest of the serials. So I'm super excited. So I hope that you are too. And be sure to click the like button below and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. When you subscribe, you'll be seeing videos, interviews with authors, editors, people in the industry that work with writers and authors. So I'll see you next time. Bye.